everyone, it's Phoebe Russell from Discover Double Bass, and I'm here to share with you some of my top tips for expressing yourself through your vibrato. So the first thing we want to think about is where the action of vibrato comes from. So make sure that you're not wiggling from your finger or rotating just from your wrist, but instead you're really rolling the entire forearm back and forth. So the forearm, the wrist and the hand should be one unit that rotates and rolls back and forth. The other thing you want to think about is making sure that there are no edges to the vibrato. So if you struggle with a tight or tense vibrato, you'll often find that that's because you're hitting the edges of the vibrato. So if you really slow down your vibrato and analyze what you're doing, you might find that you're resting on each edge. So what you really want to focus on is making sure that it's almost a circular motion and that there's no stopping on either side of the oscillation. So if... One of my favorite exercises for rotating and for making sure there are no edges on the vibrato is just to build it up really slowly. So we're going to start with crotchets and then quavers, triplets, semi-quavers. And this is where you'll notice that you might start to get a little bit harder on the edges. So just always come back to that natural rotating feeling, making sure that you're never hitting the edges of the vibrato. So, and then five, six, seven, eight, and then you'll find from there, you can kindly, kind of freely speed up the vibrato until you have full control of the entire capacity of vibrating. So, I think that really being able to control your vibrato adds an extra dimension to your playing and can really help to express yourself more clearly through your performance. So I hope that helped and if you're interested in learning a little bit more about left hand technique and vibrato, check out my course on Discover Double Bass.